What is Gucci YouTube? It's your boy Black Chia 3 Long Face Skinny Body. We are back, still black, with another fire board to anime manga content related. Video not before any video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash that like button, share the video with your friends, and let's hop into the business. Yes, sir. Ski. Nine mountains and eight seas make one world. One thousand worlds make one trillion. One chili will cost them to the power of three, and there's nothing I can't cut. Kawaki's Path of Darkness. Now, y'all know I don't like that man, Kawaki, after the events of the last few chapters. But I wanted to make a clear stance on my position and stand because I don't want people to think I'm out here being controversial or contradicting my own uh, words and stuff like that. When I say I don't like Kawaki, I'm talking about in world or like in view, or in perspective, as in like a character, you know, inside of the Boruto verse should feel the same way I feel as in like Kawaki needs to be put in the dirt and his face needs to be rubbed all the way across it from the hidden stone to the hidden mist village, bro, because I don't like that man. Now, out world perspective in terms of a viewer or a reader standpoint, what his character has done for the story the plot progression he provides as a character and also the controversial ideals and morals he poses in the story is actually excellent 10 out of 10 so i really enjoy what his character has done for the story all of that but now my opinions from this point forward is strictly in world so yeah fuck kawaki bro i don't like looking at his face his stupid ass tattoo his ugly ass bro this dude look like I, like what's wrong with his haircut i don't know if y'all ever noticed it but like this dude got yellow on the sides and then he got black on the top first of all niggas don't even know which one is his real hair color and then on top of that it don't make look like he looked like he looked like that would, would that's what billy ray cyrus would look like if he grew up like in rock music instead of country you feel me like i don't know what's going on with whatever this dude on, but i really like it's just up for this guy kawaki and the minute boruto sees him if he don't punch his face in he don't throw a wind rusting onto the chest boy i'm gonna have a real issue with that guy uzumaki too i'm not playing with you but kawaki right his path and did he choose the wrong path in terms of like shit not gonna end well for him because at the end of the day he had so many cards in his hands but he's still gonna play the wrong move and get dealt with accordingly but as of right now he he has been doing like some damage he has been putting in work as compared to his previous predecessors in terms of code you feel me uh and other villains of that nature but kawaki is out here making a stamp as an antagonist and he's already like splitting the fandom in two now now, there's going to be a lot of things that I'm excited for, especially with the uh, soon to be return of the Boruto time skip in the next few months. But Kawaki and his decision making going forward, we already talked about it in a few videos in terms of, you know, Kawaki stance. Does he spend his next two and a half or three years, however they want to split up the time skip in the village? Does he spend his time training? Does he spend his time actively searching for Boruto? Because it becomes evident that Ada isn't going to help them in that regard. Does he spend his time trying to deal with the code situation? We know he ended up bringing up code at the end of chapter 81. Does he spend his time uh, looking for a way to, you know, look throughout other dimensions in order to pimp point other otsusuki there's a lot of things you can guess in terms of what kawaki will decide to do but regardless of that fact regardless of the amount of options that is provided for kawaki in his path going forward whether it be a b c or d it's all the wrong choice because in terms of kawaki's choice and kawaki's options that he believes are valuable to himself he's gonna choose wrong because we understand his main end goal and how he believes or perceives in order to achieve said goal versus you know the actual opportunities or the actual choices that can be presented to him providing a whole different path rather than even continuing on the same path that he believes to be must and believes to be you know a go so the whole thing with kawaki is people want to say oh well he's trying to get rid of an otsutsuki alien that is starting the world that obviously no one else can stop if momoshiki everything just happens to go peaches and creams and flowers from momoshiki he's get to control everything right so people want to defend kawaki in that regard but we have to look at the actual things the actual context of the story this is why i say i separate myself you know in world versus uh out world out world amazing character i love what he does for the story but in world i don't like that nigga and at the end of the day like he went from in my top five to like 
do I hate him or do I hate Metal Lee like more? I honestly can't decide. Why did they create Metal fucking Lee? Like, are you serious? But Kawaki just done so much nut shit. It's like, bro, I have to get more respect to Metal Lee than someone like Kawaki. Now, going back to what I said, it's not necessarily the fact that, oh, Kawaki wants to protect the Hidden Leaf Village. He wants to protect Naruto's homeland. He wants to destroy, you know, something that no one else has to resolve, but everybody else believe that they can come to the same conclusion to, but ultimately won't muster up the strength to do so. Kawaki is standing 10 toes down by being able to handle business and do what everybody else is scared to do, right? But there's two things about that. One, if he was actually standing on business, that would have been one thing, meaning Kawaki took it on himself like, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to do it. Now, I'm going to have to like Take it how it comes. Pause because we understand Kawaki saying to Naruto, you're going to be able to kill me at the end of all this. But at the end of the day, I have to take care of the situation. I don't care what y'all think. Next chapter, right? Regardless of it was if it was his fault or not, he pushes a whole different agenda in terms of, yeah, I'm the seventh Hokage son. Boruto is like the bad guy. Everybody else helped me. Everybody pinpoint Boruto. Like, niggas is doing his dirty work now all of a sudden, right? And this is just me giving y'all the first example in terms of Kawaki standing 10 toes and, and going about handling his business because his whole thing was, I'm going to annihilate all the Osusuki and I'm going to start with Boruto, right? And then it went from all of that to now, I'm going to take away this guy's mother, this guy's father, right? Affecting his whole entire little sister's life. I don't care because at the end of the day, I'm doing this for the better of Lord Seventh. Not knowing him in his mind, the better of Lord Seventh automatically means the better of the entire ninja world. Mind you, there's still niggas out here in villages today that don't fuck with Naruto. So what are you talking about? Like everything is for Lord Seventh. And if it's for Lord Seventh, it's ultimately going to be the best or the better for the world. Like Kawaki's whole entire thought process is not only childish, but it's really really backwards thinking it's really stupid if you break it down right because of, of of the the morals and the drives that's actually pushing him in order to do the things that he's deciding to do as this goal oriented idea and he has a clear purpose for you know the motivation behind said goal it's all for lord seventh i'm gonna protect what he loves because of what he's done for me and ultimately in his mind protecting what he loves He's destroying everything that Lord Seventh actually fought for. And that's the idea that, you know, Kawaki is missing, similar to how, you know, Sasuke wanted to defend or stand for Itachi after he figured out the truth. But in a way, he was kind of disrespecting Itachi's legacy or going against what Itachi truly intended or wanted. But now in Kawaki's case, it's a whole completely different matter because he's completely missing the mark. Like Naruto showcased all of these loving emotions, all of these different things. He showed a side of Kawaki that Kawaki never knew himself in order to repay him or to thank him for that. Kawaki is going to go about a way that he previously, you know, was trying to get out of in a way that Naruto actively and purposefully tried to teach him away from he's going to revert back to those ways in order to bring about a peace for not it don't make no sense right and then talking about some naruto could kill him at the end like if he would have stayed on his own if he would have went through the sinjutsu and just been like what the hell why does everybody i don't care what everybody think or if anybody i'm like forget telling them anything about oh where's boruto right now like if he was on that type of timing then it would have been okay kawaki like he's about that about that right and then that's what it been was but i still would have had an issue because we got to go back kawaki originally said he's gonna help boruto handle his karma situation him and boruto together and then he called that nigga his brother and they stamped it and from that moment on naruto became dad boruto became brother himawari card calling both of them ni sans plural not one but two big brothers in that moment kawaki said we're gonna handle my karma and we're gonna handle your karma because i can't just leave you with this alone together knowing momoshiki is a threat knowing the possibility of Momoshiki taking over Boruto's body, right? So the minute things start to actually go wrong, the minute they actually have to start putting in work in their mission, Kawaki's like, all right, I'm just going to kill Boruto. Even though Boruto himself was like, you know what? The first time, this is what we're going to have to do because there's no other options right now, right? Right? They agreed to it together. So Kawaki was like, okay, so then we're going to have to do it. That's fine. But after Boruto comes back in life, no, he doesn't want to talk to Boruto about the situation. He doesn't want to say, okay, is there something that I should know about? Like, whatever Momoshiki, no, it's automatically, I know about karma. Everything I know is right. I got to kill Boruto. Like, what, bro? And if I'm Boruto, I'm going to be the maddest person. I don't care. I don't get why Boruto 
even like say I understand him. I, I get I actually get that right because Boruto now is in a position where he was never been placed in versus Kawaki, who can actively see Boruto as being annoyed for trying to understand him when he really couldn't. I get that. Boom, that's justifiable. All of that right there. But as a brother, right, and in a world where we're ninjas. And we know resolve and death is one thing that we see every day. You're going to look me in my eyes. Tell me we're going to solve something together. And we're not going to stop until we do so. We're going to look each other in the eye. And I say kill me because I know you're the only one who could do it. Because this is the last resort. Right? And once we figure out, okay, that doesn't work. You're still going to look me in my eyes. Right? And try to take my mother, my father, affect my little sister. Boruto has to kill that man, Kawaki. Right? And that's why I say he chose the wrong path. Because regardless of where he goes from at this point moving forward whether it be path a path b path c he's already stamped his positioning and it's double whammy it's two wrongs right because if it was one thing where kawaki originally went back on his original promise with boruto in order to settle the karma situation together that's a whole nother situation but then to go ahead and double back and not only break this man's family apart but completely put the entire world against him and convince them on top of that that right he's the killer of his own father just to make your job easier now this is something you do if you're starting off with someone that was already your op not someone that you called your brother now correct me if i'm wrong right all in all everything that i just stated is a reason why kawaki is an amazing and great character from a reader's perspective but in world this man chose the wrong path and his path to darkness is going to be very critical and very crucial so i'm really excited to see how chapter 81 goes about portraying whatever kawaki spent the last three years doing but ultimately this is why i would believe most of the fandom have a problem with kawaki's action and you know how they deem his character moving forward let me know your thoughts below and how y'all feel about the situation boy black with y'all three long face skinny body holla at your boy my holla at y'all black chat out your sir ski hey, can we take a trip to the sky show them that our limits too high talk about the hips on the list, 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 list. She said, 